I want to make a quick little video of the Desmos activity today, kind of go over the solutions. I had a number of students had questions, so I thought it'd be best just to make a quick video for you. Okay, on challenge number one, so you can see that it goes through zero, one. So we know our A value is one, so it doesn't show up on our equation here. We have really Y equals one times two to the X, but that misses. So let's think about this. When X is one, what power, what to the first power is going to get you where you have three? That's right, three. So let's try that. Let's go in here and let's change this to three to the x. Bingo. Got it. Okay, let's look at challenge two. It gave you the first one, y equals two to the x. Again, our a value is one. So this first blue one up here looks like it's between three and four. So let's try y equals 3.5. Then I hit shift six. It gives me the carrot to go to see how it goes up for exponent. And I'll put my x there. Uh, let's check it. Yep, there it is. It worked. All right, so then the next one, this one's at six, right? So let's go y equals six. And then go shift six and then x. Check my work. All right, that's good. All right, so then I said it was good too early. The next one is lower than this. That means the curve is going to be coming down. It's going to be decreasing in order to get this, right? It looks like it's about, I want to say 1 4. So we know the number has to be between 0 and 1. I'm going to try 1 4. So y equals, I can also do 0.25, right? So I'm going to go 0.25, shift 6, x. Let's see if that works. Coming down now. There it is. Perfect. All right, we got challenge two. All right, let's settle this dispute between Mark and Mia. So let's first think if x is zero, y equals four to the zero, that means y equals one. So that means Mia, she's up here at zero, four. She, eh, that's gone. Uh, Mark, it's looking all right. He's at zero, one. That works. All right, now let's try when x is 1. x equals 1, it'd be 4 to the first power, which is 4. So y would be 4. So Mia again's off. It should have been 4. It would have been right here. And then, ooh, Mark's a little off as well, right? His is at 1, 3. So they are both incorrect. Not good. And that's how you would explain your thinking, what we just talked about. All right, challenge 3 is a good one here. First, look at the scale. The y-axis is going by 4s. So our y-intercept is 0, 4. So what's that tell us about the a value? That's right. The a value is 4. All right. So we put in 4 there. 4 times 3 to the x. There you go. This point is uh, 112, which makes sense. 3 to the first is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 1, 12. Well, again, the x-axis is not scaled. It goes by ones. One, two, three, four. All right, that wasn't bad. All right, challenge four looks like a doozy here. So the first one they gave us is y equals two times four to the x. And that makes sense because um, two is the y-intercept. Again, this is scaled by twos. Two, four, six, eight. So this is scaled by two. So that's two. And then if you go... 4 to the x, and for 1, it's going to be 4. 4 times 2 gets you to 8. Okay, so then for my next one here, I looked at this bottom one here, and I went, well, that's 1. So I know, I know my a value, y equals a times b to the x. My a value is 1, all right? But then when x is 1, it has to be 8 to go through that mark, right? Well, isn't that going to be 8 to the x, right? So it's 1 times 8 to the x. And 8 to the first power is 8, right? 8 to the 0 power is 1. So that should work. Uh, I think the next one here is a doozy, right? So my A value is 6. So I know it's Y equals 6, but now it's tricky. How, how am I going to get to 8, right? 6 times what gets you 8, right? So that's how I thought about it. So I go, well, I'd multiply 6 by 8 over 6. Right, 6 times 8 over 6 is um, 8. So that's why I put 4 thirds because 8 over 6 is 4 thirds. So I reduced it already. 
for you. We'll see if that works. And then for the last one here, I looked at this one and go, wait a minute, this one's going to be decreasing, right? And then I go, how much does it decrease when it goes over one? Well, it goes from 16, oh, boop, drops all the way down to eight. So isn't it going to be multiplied by a half? So my A value is 16 times one half to the X. Let's check the work and see if this works out for us. Bingo, bongo, sweet. Got them all right. All right, that was a hard one. So if you if you struggle with that, that one, it's okay. The whole idea is I wanted you to play with different values and see how the curve moved and changed. This wasn't about being perfect. It was about exploring and trying to figure this out. If you didn't have all the aha moments, that's okay. All right. I didn't want you to make this a stressful situation. It's supposed to be more of a kind of a fun play activity. All right, select an equation. Well, the first part, we should be able to figure out the A value real quick. The A value is 3 here. So that means this Y equals 2 times 3 to the X. Um, it's gone because that would be the Y intercept of 2. So that one's out. So now we're down to these 3. So this one's a little bit trickier because we can't tell what the Y value is when X is... Oh, I lie. Look at this. This is scaled by halves. Aha. Scaled by halves. So see, this is actually 1. And so this is 6. All right, so now we got to think about this. We 3 times what gets us 6? 2, right? So we want this to be 3 times 2 to the first power because 2 to the first power is 2. 2 times 3 will get us 6. So the correct answer on this one would have been this one here, B. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Oh, that was it. Um, so again, uh, hopefully this wasn't, man, I think I gave you a little too light work today uh, and going through this now, but, uh, um, hopefully, uh, uh, this didn't stress you out too much if it did. Hopefully this answered your questions and we're going to be doing some more practice tomorrow's assignment is going to be with, um, Khan Academy. So I'm hopefully you'll get some feedback from Khan Academy as you're going through it. And then I'm going to hit graphing really hard on Wednesday with you. A lot of you gave me feedback that you want some more videos and explanations. So I will be doing that in our lesson for Wednesday. Have a great day or great evening, great night.